I always see the sea as freedom and arriving somewhere after crossing. Let's meet people and the gig becomes like part of our life instead of, you know, living to do gigs. We realized that touring as we used to do was uh, not something that we wanted to carry on. We had this long gap during COVID and I was really happy to go on tour again. And we start with the US and it was like, I was expecting interaction and you know, I was thinking that it would be different. When we arrived on tour and we spent our days in the bus, thought maybe it was not the best thing to do. Going from a city to another without meeting people, it felt really wrong. So we just end up thinking, okay, do the opposite. Now we want to, to sail and focus on journeys. We will both be playing gigs along the way, so we will stop either in a pub, either in a venue, either outdoors and try to offer something. Instead of just take from the place, just try to give to the place where we arrive. It's really to meet people again. Like in relationship with people and not just an audience. What you want to do when you meet people is just connect with them. So you want to be a human being and not a musician. We are trying to also to think about the connections we can make between Celtic countries, as I'm saying in Britain language. Minority languages is a key to understand the Earth more. Really important if we want to be less harmful and more in connection with nature. We will start from Ocean Island, where we live the 12th of June. We'll go up the east coast of Ireland, then Hebrides, Faroe Islands, then back to Scotland and um, to Wales and back to Brittany. Because of the weather, because we're sailing, maybe we will stop elsewhere. So we encourage people to, to, to follow us and also to, you know, if they think, oh, you can play in my garden, for instance, like I can organize a small gig in my village. And we're more than happy to do that. That's the purpose of the the way we want to tour from now on. <laughs>